back. I've been off YouTube for a while, but today I am going to be reviewing a wig that I was sent by um, a company called Beauty Exchange. Um, they sell like a bunch of beauty supplies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show y'all how I put the wig on. I'm about to just open the box. And my hair right now looks a mess. Like it's been under wig, so. The first thing in the thing, in the box, got this card. This says thank you. Um, it has all like their social media on it and stuff. And the wig I'm gonna review today is called, it's by Sensational. Um, it's called Butter Lace Human Hair Blend Lace Front Wig and it's 32 inches, so it's pretty long. <clears throat> this is what the box looks like. Uh, it comes in a little purple box and then that's what the wig i guess that's what it looks like um i'm not like an expert at installing wigs but since this does already have like parting on it i think you know i will probably be able to work this wig like i want to so this is what it looks like when you open the package that that is the stock card we're gonna take it out the pack. Take the stuff off the um this little mesh thing. And from just first impression, this wig I already like it because it's very lightweight. Um and okay i think well they sent me a one um what i normally wear is a two but we can make this work i normally don't like like super dark hair on me but we're gonna see how this does like we're gonna see so and y'all i'm on my way to work so um i want to make this like kind of I want to see how fast I'm able to work this wig. And then I'll probably make a separate video of like um, really customizing it. But I mean, this is cute. This looks uh, good. I love the curl pattern. It's very soft. Um, and like I said, it's lightweight. I love a lightweight wig. Like, it's just, I love a lightweight wig. So, because you forget you have it on. So, the first thing I'm going to... First thing I'm gonna do is I have my brush. I need to, my hair's been like in a half wig or whatever, and it's like in a ponytail. It just looks really bad. But we're gonna put this wig on. Right now I'm just gonna brush back like my edges or whatever. So I got in the back just to make it flat. My hair is like so dry and just broken off right now. I'm probably gonna cut it off again to be completely honest. I like this stuff, but I'm gonna use this. It's got to be ultra glued. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. If it'll come out. And just put a little bit around my perimeter. Please don't mind my nails. My nails are nubs right now. They need to be done. I still got like a little bit of acrylic on them. I went through a lot of BS last week. And when I start to get very like stressed and stuff, I bite my nails off. So that's what happened. Um, okay. So I'm gonna just brush back, brush every hair back. like that just brush it back until it's pretty sleek or whatever all right so i got it brushed back i'm gonna place my wig cap and okay so since i'm not doing the ball cap method like i said i'm like kind of in a not like in a rush but um i want to make this quick um what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to take some makeup. Um, I'm gonna take this LA Girls Mineral Powder and just put it where I know I'm gonna do my, like kind of like my part or whatever. Like I said, I am not a, uh, I love wigs, but I am not a, like, a person that is, like, excellent at um, customizing wigs and stuff. So, if y'all don't like this method, um, you're welcome to do, like, whatever method that you like to do. But this is just my quick method. So, I'm going to put a little... Like on the sides. Okay, we can see where that is. I'm gonna put the wig on my head. And I can already tell I'm going to like this wig because it is, um, like I said, it's flat and it's lightweight. But this is what it looks like before I cut the lace and do everything that I need to do. This is the parting space. Um, it is a full lace. Well, in the front, it's a lace front. I'm not going to utilize this part yet. Um, for today, I'm just going to do like my middle part or whatever. So, what I'm going to do is I'm about to clip this hair back so I could cut the lace off um, with the clip. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. That hurt. And it does come with baby hairs, which I love. And I'm just gonna cut the lace. And I don't cut my lace no type of specific way. Uh, so I don't wanna hear, oh my gosh, why did, why did she cut the lace like that? I don't cut it no, specific way I just cut it straight across to get all the little lace the excess lace off and I'm using a razor comb well uh what is this called a razor I don't know And like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about the side. Once again, I'm not going to worry about the side because y'all not going to see the side. Because it's just going to be straight down. So. Alright. So, to lay it down, I got to be spray. Like I can feel it already getting a little sticky. All right, but what I'm gonna do is that line, you can kind of see it. So I'm gonna take some more of my makeup and just put it where I feel like you can see that lace. That looks better. I'm not gonna do the sides because once again, you're not really going to see that. So, um, this is what it looks like without me plucking the part. I, like I said, I normally do a two because it looks more natural, but this is pretty. Um, so now what I'm going to do is... I need to find my comb. Here we go. And I'm just uh, 
flatten in the top before I do what I'm about to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull out some baby hairs. Will somebody text him? All right, so how do I pluck? I just take a little bit of some hair out. And this is like the old method without using tweezers, but I just take out a slice of hair, a thin slice, and I just start to pull. Be careful doing this though, because you can put a hole in the wig. I've done that before pulling too rough pulling too many out too too much hair at a time out so just be very careful about that i'm gonna pull another slice in the mirror ahead of me so And again, I don't like my part too, too wide. So I ain't gonna pull out that much hair because I'm gonna use some makeup anyway to uh, make the part look really good. Like, I think this looks, I think this looks good, this part. Because it's, it's about to look a little bit more natural once I put this makeup on it. I'm gonna take my makeup brush I'm gonna use the same powder that I just used and put it in the part. And as y'all can see, it just looks better already. this hair oh shoot oh. I'm not mad at this hair at all uh now I'm about to flatten so I'm gonna take my got to be I'm going to spray this brush and I'm just gonna brush where I feel like it needs to be a little bit more flat at the top So um, now I'm gonna do my baby hair because obviously it came with baby hair. So I'm gonna just cut a little bit off because I feel like this is too long for me. So I just cut it, make it look a little bit more natural. Oh, I got like some, some hair in my face. All right, what I use for my baby hair Use some Nairobi for my baby hair and just an edge brush. Once again, you're gonna take your Nairobi, your edge brush. And this kind of just molds. The hair. baby hair I don't like for it to look too too harsh so that's part of the reason why I use uh, the Nairobi foam So this is basically the finished look. I, first off, hold on, hold on, cause I told y'all I don't like that uh, that harsh baby hair look. I hate that. Bless me. So 
this is pretty much like the finished look. I didn't do much to it. So this is what not doing much to it gets you, which it still looks bomb. It comes right under my boob area. And um, the hair is like super soft. I'm about to keep trying to um, fix my baby hair. Maybe I need to use some gel, my eco styling gel, just to see if I can get it to maneuver more of the way that I want it to. So yeah, this is basically the finished look. It's bomb. Like I said, I definitely would have gotten uh, my two, but I'm not. I'm not mad at this wig. I'm. I am not mad at it. All right, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you. Bye.